Nice. Oh, nice. All right, how do we get out of rain mode, right? Yeah, this is nice. I don't know if y'all can hear me now. This is one of the smoothest bikes I've ever been on. It is plush. Oh man. It is, the suspension is just uh, really tuned nicely. It's very difficult to have a sense of speed on this just because uh, the lack of noise. And if you have a good helmet on and you, or earplugs and you don't hear the wind, it's kind of hard to even gauge how fast you're going. Kind of a cool feeling, a little bit of a magic cloud feeling. You can actually feel this is Okay, it's a little wonky because of the tall tires. I did not know this until today, 10 minutes ago. This thing has dual 19 inch. Now, I don't know what that's gonna do to the tires you can choose to uh, outfit this on, but I imagine that gives you more knobby options, which is kind of where this was model is kind of leading you to do. Uh, man, if you could dial off the traction control and ride this thing in the dirt and the gravel, I bet you this is gonna be a blast. I wonder how the suspension's going to do though, because I don't want to call it stiff, but it's it's not soft either. It does have adjustable suspension in the forks. I'm gonna have to look up what kind of forks those are. But I am really digging this. No buffeting at all. The wind is hitting me just right, right smack dab in the middle of the chest. Nowhere on the helmet, so you wouldn't have to change anything when it comes to here. I really wish we could ride some twisters. I don't know what that was. No downshifting. Amazing. So I have no brakes at all. None. Regenerative braking braked me enough to make this turn to a typical 30. Self canceling indicators. Looking for the clutch, not there. The. Oh, yeah. It's, it's stiff, the suspension's stiff on a less smooth road. Uh, the seat height is definitely tippy-toe for me. And I am 5'8", somewhere between 5'8", 5'9", depending on the shoes I'm wearing. Oh, I can tell that this handle's better than the one, for sure. Just a couple little dips and bobs here and there, and the light weight just really stands out. But overall, riding impressions have already super high. Uh, build quality, super high. They said there's handlebar options to go lower, which is great. I would definitely go a little lower. I'd go about an inch and a half lower for me to truly have more of an aggressive stance. Like, I want my head to be about here. You know what's really cool about these electric bikes? You really hear the tires working. I don't know if that would benefit you at a higher speed where you're getting a lot more wind noise, but on these lower, slow corners and stuff, braking and turning, you can hear the tires grip. Pretty cool. Yeah, this would have been nice to not have this person from Georgia in front of us. There's rain mode. Okay, okay, eco mode instantly makes the throw on the throttle longer. Interesting.
But still, we've got a lot of get up and go. For an eco mode. I want a coffee. So I wonder. So here's regular road mode. Yeah, it's got a little more juice. Oh yeah, this is nice. I love the quietness. Stealth mode. So this thing does ride a little weird with the 19 inch. I don't think I've ever ridden a bike with two 19 inches. All right, let's back off here. Seventy three percent. This thing has passing power. Beautiful. I really like the corded wires. This is super clean what they got going on here. That's the hydraulic line going to the front brake. Very clean look. This is about as minimal as you can get on a bike. Be cool if they made this in a not glossy piece of plastic. Maybe they'll probably have like a carbon fiber come out or something. The vents are a nice touch. The switch gears, solid, kind of bulky, but. So I, one of the other things that is just real noticeable about these EVs is there's just zero snatchiness at low speeds, just zero. It's like all of those weird things you have to figure out and quirks on your bike, they're all gone. I mean, does that make this, you know, characterless? Or does it just allow you to focus on a different part of the character of riding, right? What the tires are doing, where the grip levels are, uh, what your range is, how much power are you using? You know, it's just, it's a different flavor for sure. I love the aerodynamics of this uh, for a naked bike. It has got great aerodynamics. I just, so much better than the Triumph. Here's the rough part. Oh yeah, this suspension is just dialed in. Feels good at 80. Real good. I bet you your range drops like a rock at uh, 100, huh? If this thing makes it up to that. There we go. The regen brakes really do a lot. It's the equivalent of downshifting aggressively. So 68% in mostly sport mode. We're gonna redo that section. Oh, I went for a ghost shift. All right, yeah, this bike is amazing. 
I love it. I'm in sport mode. I got 68% left. I've been averaging uh, 50, 60 miles an hour between the feeders. It's got a great feel to it. Just a fantastic feel to it. I'm really uh, impressed by the suspension, the single brake disc, the Brembo, all work really, really well. Just a solidly put together bike. Uh, the minimalism is just fantastic. Let's go back into that eco mode and just see what we can do in it. So what it does is it instantly changes the throttle input. but it still gives you a lot of juice. You just have to pull the throttle longer. So I imagine that kind of tricks your wrist into, you know, not pulling away so quickly all the time. And then it's also supposed to have the highest regen too. So it's gonna uh, give you the most braking off throttle as well. So to be honest, it's probably a pretty good mode to be in if you want to really, uh, you know, go further, right? Because I mean, that's the biggest drawback of this bike is what is its range? And when you hear, oh, it drops to 80 at 70, 80 miles per hour, that's uh, that's not a long ride. But if you could put it in this eco mode and get a hundred miles out of it and have just as much acceleration, just as much fun, and it's really just tricking your wrist into thinking there's just a little less there, uh, yeah. Fantastic. I love the regen on this eco mode. I mean, it just hauls the bike down like you have the brakes on. It's great. So now you're not only just not no clutch, no shift, and no brake. It's like uh, single pedal driving, I guess, in EV. You can really just manage your speed without any other input other than your wrist really like that oh, so much suburban traffic come on Austin everybody move away so let's see I started out at 87% when I got on this bike I'm at 65% and I've gone Let's okay, let's do this. The person before me, they reset it to zero miles and a full charge. So we're at 65% charge and at 52 miles. So the person before me didn't probably ride it as aggressively as I have. And honestly, I have not been able to ride this as aggressively as I would like to normally because A, I'm following a guy. B, I, there's suburban traffic everywhere. Uh, if I would have been riding this on my back roads with nobody in front of me, I'd probably, let's call it 15% less energy. So, hypothetically, pull this out of your garage, 100% charge, start heading back home at 80 miles, let's call it. So you're getting an hour ride in per charge three, four hours charge. When you think of it this way, it's a $15,000 bike. You're paying a lot of money for a toy at that point because what can you really do in an hour? Now, if you have a commute and you're able to plug in at your work, now you just put in two hours, which is significantly better. I'd say definitely a toy, not something you'd want to depend on. So the vibe that they're going for is the uh, Indian 1200 FRS, I think it is, dirt tracker. Uh, and I don't know if they really succeeded at that because it's obviously not a big motor. 
Um, it's electric, it's got its own thing, its own vibe. It's, there's really not a whole lot to compare it to. It's just its own thing, which is great, which is why I want it. I want a bike with its own thing. And this bike is probably one of the only bikes that is like this. Um, it's got this, you know, I guess there's a zero dual purpose out there that would be similar, but not nearly has the range, although I would have to check because the way Zero does all their ranges is totally different. But bottom line is, not a beginner bike, love it. I will probably take delivery of mine when they say that mine is available. Um, all right. Thanks, YouTubers. Thanks for watching Flip Moto. Subscribe. Thanks. Later. Ride safe.